homestead. In this video, we went ahead and uh, took that uh, other new miter box saw that we got. We took it back. It's it was a good saw. It worked all right. It was just a little cheap made. Uh, I don't think it ever would have last for what we do. I've used it for three weeks and uh, just wasn't real happy with the way it was constructed. It looks like they added a whole lot of options into a cheap saw and that's what you got was a cheap saw. So uh, I think it was like $240, you know. Uh, so we uh, we took it back and got this one. It was supposed to be rated kind of like the DeWalt. So uh, we're going to we're gonna see how it goes and we'll let you know. I mean, it, uh, it's supposed to be a whole lot better. But like I said, the other one worked fine, I think, for somebody that uh, was gonna use it a little bit less than what we do. It'd probably be all right. But, you know, once we, once we get through, we, well, we ain't ever gonna get through. This is gonna be added into our our uh, wood workshop. You know, we're building the workshop beside our sawmill to do all our woodwork and all our cabinet trees and all that. I bought out a cabinet shop probably 15 years ago and got all the shaper tables and the big table saws and all that. So we're gonna add it to the workshop by the sawmill so when we get through our lumber, we can dry it, then we can plane it, and we can do all our woodworking in one area. day guarantee we can bring stuff back <clears throat> we took it back up there they didn't say nothing they asked about it and i told them you know we just uh didn't like the way it was built don't think it'd ever hold up for you know continue use for you know several years uh this all got a lot of upkeep to do i mean it uh my last matter box all lasted for like 20 years it was a black and decker and we used it i mean we built a lot of stuff so uh it just wore slap out now, so. They ain't got lots to look up to. I mean, it's gonna have to, if I can at least get 10 out of it, I mean, it'd be good. <laughs> Here, I was just checking the locks on uh, how smooth they were and how they lock in and they, you know, got any movement and all. And I was impressed with it. it. It's pretty tight. Your little back guards there, you move them out. They're pretty, they're pretty good. I was impressed with it.
seven, an inch and a half. Somebody's just gonna be a, you know, use it every so often. I mean, it'd be fine if they're not too precise of what they're cutting, you know. Uh, I just don't think it'd ever hold up to what we need. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to build. And I think this one it might. We'll let you know. I mean, if it's if it don't, I'm sure we'll let you know. <laughs> All right, appreciate. It. Here you can see I was cutting some one by twelve by eights. And uh, we went ahead and went back to Harbor Freight, and we bought the uh, the Hercules work stand that that table saw, that uh, miter saw goes on. And I'm real impressed with it. You got the roller there that will come out four foot each direction, so you got a total of eight foot of spread with a roller. You can adjust them up and down. The saw has a bracket that hooks onto it that bolts on, and you can take the saw on and off by just two buttons you push the locks and unlock it and pull the saw off the legs fold up got wheels on it you can roll it around it it's a good good setup we're real impressed with it <laughs> 